know on Monday Ron DeSantis is going to win the Iowa caucus. Yeah. And, you know, as Mom said, it's not going to be the media, it's not going to be the polls, it's not going to be the false narrative that they are trying to create. It is going to be each and every one of us because we care about this country, we care about what's happening. We want a leader that has the resolve and the skill to step in there on day one and reverse the madness that we have seen from the Biden administration. All you have, it's unbelievable, it's unconscionable. All you have to do is look to the southern border. Do your constitutional duty, protect the sovereignty of this country, and most importantly, protect its citizens. It is intentional what is happening down there, intentional. All you have to do is look at what's happening to the economy. Now, we're in pretty good shape here, despite all of the challenges. You know, our fiscal health is strong. We're cutting taxes. We're helping Iowans keep more of their hard-earned money. Hey, we're no longer taxing your retirement income. <laughs> Watch out, Florida, right? We're investing in education for all things that Ron did down in Florida. He is, uh, you know, all you have to do is look at his record. We do need somebody that can step in and win. We do need somebody that can serve for eight years. You know, our country's a mess, but we're resilient as Americans and as a country. And if we have a leader that has a record that has followed through with 100% of the promises that he made to the people he serves, you know, as a colleague, as a governor, that's not easy. And Ron didn't just promise little things. He took on big things. I really got to know Ron during COVID, and I'm telling you, we were on an island. There wasn't very many of us out there, and just intense, extreme pressure from the media, from the administration, to shelter in place, to lock down. What did Ron do? We all, we all did for a little bit, and we're like, wait a minute. He brought in the experts, and he asked the questions, and he looked at the data in the state of Florida, he took that knowledge and he kept the economy open. He kept the kids in school. And he did what was right for the people that he serves. And again, that is the kind of leadership that you will see from Ron DeSantis on day one. Yeah. When he's yes, yes, it's not what if, it's not what I'm going to do. Please, please, please go take a look at his record. He's cut taxes, he's kept spending in check, he reduced the debt in Florida by 25%. Who thinks that's not something that we need in Washington, D.C.? Raise your hands. He's done it. No one else. He's done it. He, uh, he gets things done. That's one of the things I admire. I'm, I'm kind of not a you know tinker around the edges kind of governor either. You know, I'm going to get in there and get things done. And uh, he has really uh, gone above and beyond, and I respect that so much about him. Probably, and well, not probably, most effective leader that I have seen in a long, long time. And again, I'm going to kind of circle back where we started. It's this kind of engagement. You know, we got a few challenges out there. It's going to be pretty cold, but we are tough. Resilient Iowans. We care about this country. So most importantly, we need to be safe. We need to be safe. Layer up. And if you show up, he will be the winner on Monday night. He's got the best ground game of anybody. You know, I went to headquarters. I believe in this guy so much. I, I, I mean, I went to the headquarters yesterday, and I was making calls, just checking in. First of all, saying thank you to people that were going to caucus for him, saying thank you for people that were going to speak on his behalf, and, and then calling people that maybe still not decided. And I was so inspired and just, just fired up and enthusiastic about the response I was getting from the individuals that I talked to. I am showing up. Nothing is keeping me home. I've got, a, I've got a, a cab ready to pick me up if I can't get there. I've got a backup plan. So that is the kind of strategy, that's the strategy that we need going into Monday night. Yes. So if you like what we're doing in Iowa, I think you're going to like Ron's vision for this country. Yes. So this is who you came here to hear from. So without further ado, please welcome the next President of the United States, Ron DeSantis.